Welcome back to my home cooks and chefs. Today we're going to be building some flavors. Yes, yes. I've been enjoying using this pressure cooker, you guys. We're going to be doing some oxtails. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get into the ingredients. Got some a couple of oxtails, some vegetables, uh, also to some frozen vegetables, some butter beans, as well as oxtail seasoning. You can get the traditional Jamaican oxtail seasoning and some beef marinade, guys. If you're new, subscribe. All right, so. Let's season up our oxtail. So I'm gonna use this beef and fajita marinade. That goes really good. You can inject your beef, your brisket with this. But this uh, works really well, but it goes good on this too, so. Just pour it on. And I'm gonna do this before we sear it. Add your uh, soy sauce. Cause you know, we're making a Caribbean style oxtail. So put it on. This is where your salt come into play. All right. And last but not least, your oxtail, uh, this is that Caribbean uh, tradition oxtail seasoning. So just season it up. And pretty much has all the good seasoning that you're looking for in it. Spice, flavor, that Jamaican type style, and a few other ingredients, cayenne pepper, a little uh, uh, different types of flavor, which is good. All right, so let's get over to the stove and let's get the searing them up. All right, so now we're gonna sear it. So I'm gonna use a little of my garlic oil. Get from your local Asian store with a little bit of olive oil with it. That's it. Let your pan come up. You see it's getting real hot, so we're gonna put on the oxtails in a minute. All right, you want to get your uh, your skillet really hot. Just place them down in there. One way to sear it, you got a little nice uh, char on the outside, coloring. And what you're going to do is going to keep rotating. So I'll show you when it's done. So I'm going to rotate it. All right, so I seared it, put it in towards the middle. What I'm going to do is use the sides where the flavor is. I'm going to put the bag of mixed vegetables in. This is going to go into the pressure cooker, once it's done, I want to sear it. Because you can sear it in the pressure cooker, but if I do everything in here, then it's enough time to do that in the pressure cooker. So, I'm going to let it uh, gather all these uh, uh, flavors. I'm going to sear it a little bit more. And then, now, now at this stage, we're not going to flip and fully cook it. We're just sealing it for flavor. Then all the little seasonings and everything, the, you know, soy sauce and the other things. You know, sear it in the flavor, and then we're gonna put it into the fresh cooker for the next uh, stage of cooking. All right, so I'll see you when this is done. I'll get the fresh cooker. All right, so now we at the fresh cooker. We're gonna put in one tablespoon of Walker's wood. So if you don't know what Walker's wood is, a lot of it is done with uh, Jamaican ch jerk chicken, uh, jerk oxtail. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw the flavor in. Uh, if, if you notice at the bottom, I already have the vegetables that we sauteed with the oxtails there at the bottom. Uh, we're going to now add in the oxtails to the bottom of the pressure cooker. So just put them on top of your vegetables. Like I said, this is how your uh, vegetables get flavored up because all the drippings from the oxtail drips on top of the, sorry, on top of the, all the vegetables and all the little goodies at the bottom. So just, you know, line them around the bottom. This is a pretty pretty big size, so we don't have to put none on top of each other. All right, we're gonna add in the rest of the little juice that was left over. Put it in there. Like I said, flavors are friends, so that's what we're doing. So in order to stack these flavors right now, we're gonna add in three cups of chicken broth. So those that uh, have had or used um, fresh cooker, you know you have to use you know liquid in order to tenderize your oxtail. So let's get over to setting it so i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna set it on oh one more thing i almost forgot make sure you add your large you know what I'm saying uh butter beans in there so i almost forgot about that so drain your can i just drained both of them so just add them on top spread them around 
uh, like I said, it's in the pressure cooker, so all the flavors gonna go, go in there all at one time. So just add them all in. There you go. So everything is in a pot. Now we can, you know, get to the temperature. All right. So once again, make sure it's on airtight before you start pressing buttons. All right. So first thing first is you want to make sure the pressure um, pressure cooker is locked or closed. So it's closed now. What I did was, let me uh, reset it again. I'm going to cancel it. And I'm going to press top pressure, uh, cooking time. Press minute, because I'm going to put it on actually a good 60 minutes for the oxtails to uh, cook tenderly. Now you could do a less than that if you want a little tug, but I want to make sure I put it on 60 minutes. And all you have to do from here is press start. There we go. So it's building up the pressure to be able to, you know, uh, start cooking it. So I'll see you guys when this is done. All right, you guys. So everything is done. What I forgot to do is show you that I made a, a gravy out of it. Took all the juice out and uh, made, you know, added the, uh, some flour in it and some red wine, dry red wine in here. And then slapped it back in here and let it sit. But you guys, it is done. See that big old oxtail? You know, uh, add some uh, chopped up brisket in here, you know, tenderize it. Yep, look at that. Smoking. Oh, it smells good. So, I'm about to get down and uh, get my grub on, you guys. But it came out amazing. Now, you can add some dumplings in here, some rolled up dumplings, throw up in here. Uh, but I think this is enough. I'm about to get down on some white rice. And get to eating y'all glad you come on in if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe you guys we have these wonderful classic dishes at home and this is my way of doing a caribbean oxtail you know um so i will see you guys in the next one this is your boy kc see you next time